Hi, Meryl. I love my assignment today. You know, one of the reasons why 50,000 folks visit this fair every year is because you get to see such unusual, unique pieces and you get to meet the artist who created them, like Shadow May. And this is his gorgeous, gorgeous piece of pottery. Hi, Shadow. Hi. Tell me a little bit about this and how you do it. Um, well, I primarily work as a potter, so I'm using a pottery wheel to create these forms, and then I apply the glaze. I'm also incorporating a lot of glass in here that melts, and then if you turn it around as well, what I'm doing is I'm using actual seashells on the piece, and it sits like this in the kiln, so when the glass is in there, it wants to drip all the way around and hopefully somewhere fall within the vicinity of these three shells. And what the shells do essentially is it eliminates any kind of wax. I get full glaze coverage over the whole piece. It is amazing and you're not going to find any one piece the same, right Shadow? Uh, no, they're all <laughs> unique. Thank you so much. No and then problem. of course, local Ben Caldwell, and so many of you will recognize him and his work. Look at this incredible piece. Ben, tell me about this. Well, it's a large uh, bowl. It's an 18 inch bowl with a moose antler stand. I get my moose antler from uh, Montana and I carve the end, a little flower on the end, and I hand hammer the bowl out. That is beautiful. Where can folks find you? What booth? Uh, it is in booth B87. Great. What about you, Shadow? Um, I'm B102 right at the entrance. Great. So much more to see when we come back a little bit later in the show, guys. So fun. That looks great. Meryl Leland, back to you. All Thank right. You, yeah. Great to see. Hey, T, bring us back some fudge, all right? <laughs> <laughs> that sounds good.